Tell me, how has the quarantine affected you? Uh, it's affected me in a very sort of profound way. So I promote music as a healing agent. And I always said that communal experience of live music is the essence of musical experience, right? Um, and so when we listen to music together, our heartbeats start synchronizing, even our brain waves, breathing, everything. And as social animals, we like that, right? And I was always warning people against the use of the music with the smartphone and the laptop and the earphones and the headphones as a wall um, against the rest of the world, you know? I thought it was very inhumane and unnatural. And so I was playing live, playing live, and I always said, you know, there will be a catastrophe with the climate change and social inequities, and that's when music will really exert its power. And I never pictured this to happen. <laughs> where I had to stay home, I couldn't play live, nobody will come to concerts for maybe two years, right? And so I really had a decision to make whether to go, you know, virtual or not, right? Whether to use the online platform or not, because I didn't want to go back on my own words. But um, at the end, it was just an urge. I had to share my music, and so here I am. And I'm, I'm glad here. you're here with us. You're, what yeah. would you like to begin your performance with tonight? Okay, so I would like to begin this with um, what some of my audiences like to call breathing music. So I always make my performances more interactive and participatory because that's how music really is more powerful and effective for you. And so I often start my program with this piece and ask the audience to breathe with it, breathe deeply, and just let yourself go. Enjoy. This is called Alien Harp by Chopin. It's an etude. Alien Harp is a harp that you don't play, but when air passes by, it just rings with the air. Okay, Alien Harp by Chopin. <laughs>
All right. That was awesome. That, now that is taking this freaking show to the next level. <laughs> People, and I've seen that you um, are a consultant for a hospital in Houston. Talk yep. a little bit about your work uh, in that capacity. Okay, thanks for asking me that question. So I work with neuroscientists that to quantify the benefit of music, you know, so People have always said since the ancient civilizations that music is healing, you know, healers and shamans use music, blah, blah, blah. But it was often thought of as like sort of a voodoo kind of, if you believe in it, may work kind of. But now with the advancement of medical technologies, we can actually quantify as data how it works, how much it works, and why it works. And I really think that, you know, Unfortunately, music and art right now is at the mercy of consumerism. But I think we need to reevaluate our roles in our society to be the healers and the shamans and to sort of, you know, help, re help remind us that what we share is greater than our differences. I don't know. That's, no, that's well said, that's well said.